What's up everybody? This is your boy Glenn Devon and welcome to your trans health series. Today we will be I'll be walking you through a few exercises that you can do from home if you don't have access to the gym at the moment. Along the way, I will provide you with some tips as well to help you stay healthy and active. To the warm-ups. Uh, warm-ups are to help you get ready for those extreme workouts and everything like that uh, for people who I guess are afraid of pain. Stretching works for you. It lessens the pain that you feel when you get into that workout. Right. So the first warm-up that we're gonna do will be jumping jacks. Everybody should know what jumping jacks are. All right. So you want to make sure everything is aligned. And you do at least 30 seconds, um, depending on your experience with fitness you can do at least 30 to 60 seconds of jumping jacks. All right, so the next one would be uh, the standing and skipping workout. So again, you just, instead of skipping, or you can do that too, but you should stay in one place and you do that for at least 30 to 60 seconds, right? All right, so we're going to get into the first set of workout, which is for your chest. So for those of you, like myself, who would like to gain a bigger chest, uh, one of the workouts that you can do from home is the chest press, right? Uh, you can do a chest press two ways. You can do it by push-ups, or you can do it with the dumbbells laying on the floor. And when you're doing these exercises, again, depending on your experience with working out, whether you're a beginner um, or you're an expert, that will depend on how many reps you can do, but it's important to push yourself. So um, for this exercise, normally I would do four reps of 20, but maybe for a beginner, you would do maybe four reps of eight. Right, so let's just get into that so I can show you guys what a chest press looks like. So, chest press. All right, so this is a little light for me, but maybe for a beginner, this would be heavy. This is what, five pounds. So, you start off like this, make sure that your elbows are aligned with your shoulders, everything is straight. And then you bring it down, you stop right there, inches away from the floor so you're not touching the floor. And then up or press in other words, as the term would say. And you do a few of these. <sighs> until you start to feel it. And gradually, you um, would increase your reps based on how much you can handle doing. Uh, you can also, another way of a floor press, a chest press, sorry, is it can be a wall chest press, right? And this works um, the upper part of your chest specs, right? It's the same thing as when you're on the floor, but gives you a more incline motion. So it works the top of the chest. All right. Uh, last but not least, another way you can do a chest press is by push-ups. The best one would be the diamond push-up. Instead of the regular push-up, it, it does the same thing. 
but the, the diamond cushion works the inside of your chest. So on the floor, you set your hands like a diamond, ensure that your hands again are aligned and a little bit beneath um, your chest. And then down. Do as much as those as you can do until you start to feel the burn. I kinda am now. You also want to make sure that you stay hydrated. So drink some water in between your breakout sessions, just to ensure that, whew, <laughs> whew, just rehydrate. Rehydrate, it's the best thing that you can do. Um, you can also put pre-workout in the water. It helps to keep you energetic. If you need any more tips and tricks, you can also check out my Instagram page, which is Trans J A. On that page, you will see specific tips, workout tips for trans women and trans men, whatever the body goal is. Also, if you have any questions, don't be afraid to send me a message. I will definitely answer.